Alright guys, my boy wanted me to uh, show him how to make it so you can DAW boot from uh, Linux and at the same time have Windows XP or Windows Vista on your computer and he didn't know like which Linux choice to go with and stuff he's never used Linux before so I told him a good distro to go with it was Ubuntu so I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Ubuntu on your Windows machine and still have Windows on your computer so that when you start up your system you can choose which operating system you want to boot from so we're going to go to Google and type in Wubi W-U-B-I and I already had Wubi or Ubuntu installed on my computer but I had 7 installed and 8 is out so I'm just going to do this over for you guys and show you how to do it we're going to download Wubi and run it and we're going to just select our drive C I'm going to allow it 15 gigabytes for the installation size um, just select Ubuntu for the desktop environment that's the default and you should just go with that one English type in the username you wish to use and then a password to log on Ubuntu with or Ubuntu oh whoops type something in wrong. and then we're going to press install or check accessibility blah 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 okay install and it's just gonna download all of our install installation files right now I'm downloading the 699 meg file for the installation at about 600 kilobytes a second so it's gonna take 20 minutes so I'm just gonna pause this while this downloads alright I'm back we're coming up on the uh, towards the end of the download so it's gonna start installing after it downloads and Ubuntu is completely free there's no activation or anything and it, it's fully functional it's not a trial version so you know it's just free you could do whatever you want with it so after it downloads alright now it's gonna start checking the files and it's just gonna be doing its thing you know it's just like a regular installation it's just gonna be installing this and you're gonna be prompted to uh, restart your computer a couple times so I've got my camera and or not my camera but I'm I've got a camera and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what you do after you reboot your computer a couple times and after Ubuntu has successfully installed so I'm gonna stop recording this right now alright guys after it installs it's gonna ask you to reboot or manually reboot later we're just gonna reboot now go into shutdown mode and it should be rebooting and now we have the option to choose our operating system Microsoft Windows XP or Ubuntu go ahead and select Ubuntu and it's going to open it's going to start booting up finishing some necessities and it may take a little bit longer to load than it would any other boot up because this is the first time Right. Now it's going to check the installation. Finish up.
and it's going to install and partition itself on your system. This shouldn't take that long, it's just running some functions and stuff, so it should probably take like 5 minutes tops. And after it finishes installing, it's going to reboot itself again. So, we'll see what's going on. Yeah, it's rebooting itself again. So you're just going to need to go into, you're going to select, excuse me, you're going to select Ubuntu over in uh, which operating system you want to select again. So we're just going to go ahead and select Ubuntu. Hit enter. Don't want to hit escape. Now it's booting the kernel for Ubuntu. In the night I hear him talk.